Medusa, Jellyfish. Medusa, Jellyfish, Medusa. Hi. Have you ever wondered why some languages say in jellyfish like in English while others say medusa like in Spanish? Let's talk about that and where did these words come from? First of all, let me tell you the story. A couple of weeks ago I was swimming in the sea when I got bitten by a jellyfish. Then I told this story to one person in English using the word medusa instead of jellyfish. My reasoning was simple. If they say Medusa in both Russian and Hebrew, it's also correct to say Medusa in English. But I was wrong. I was told that it's correct to say jellyfish. I didn't get the reason, so I decided to find out. Why is a jellyfish called a jellyfish when it's neither jelly nor a fish? The first people who saw a jellyfish saw an animal floating in the water that looked especially like jelly. But not only do jellyfish look like jelly, they are also made of a jelly-like elastic substance called mesoglea. The mesoglea is the middle layer of a jelly's bell, while the outer is called the epidermis, and the inner layer the gastrodermis. Jellies are composed of 95% water. The Thea Medusa got its name because of its resemblance to the moving hair snakes of the legendary Gorgon Medusa from Greek mythology. Medusa Gorgon is generally described as a human female with living venomous snakes in place of hair. Those who gazed into her eyes would turn to stone. Where are you? Now let's figure out who uses the word jellyfish or something like that and who uses something like medusa. Let's look at her beautiful thing. Let's begin with the English version, jellyfish. We are putting the flag of the United Kingdom here. In Georgia they also say jellyfish. Ok, let's move on. Now we are going to Africa, to the country of South Africa. Many people live here. At least three those African languages, English, Zulu, and Afrikaans, use the word jellyfish. That's why I added South Africa to my table as jellyfish's word users. The next country is also the case in Africa, and its name is Ethiopia. Amhari, or Roma, and Somali are official languages of Ethiopia. They use the word jellyfish. I can continue the list of African countries endless, but I don't want to waste time so useless, so I'll add just two more countries, Nigeria and Madagascar. Madagascar is actually an island next to Africa. And I have to say that they also say jellyfish in Latin, but I don't know the flag of Latin or the country in which Latin is the official language. Sorry. Let's continue. Medusa. First of all, I needed to write down Greeks, because the name came from Greek mythology, as I said before. Now let's talk about Slavic languages. Slavs are divided into three big groups. Russian, Ukrainian and Belarusian are the Eastern Slavs. Poles, Czechs and Slovaks are the Western. And Slovenians, Bosnians, Croatians and Serbs and Macedonians and Bulgarians are the South. They all say Medusa. Oh, something like that. Next country I want to talk about is located in the Middle East and its name is Israel. Yes, the people will say Medusa. Back to Europe. Three out of three most spoken Finno Ugric languages use words like Medusa. Medusa in Finnish, Medusa in Estonian, and Medusa in Hungarian. One more group is Baltic languages, such as Lithuanian and Latvian, uses the word Medusa to describe this animal. And the last group I want to talk about today is Romance languages. Let's add to the table these countries, France, Spain, Romania and Italy. And this is not the end, I can't go crazy, so I just add four more countries which use our word. Kyrgyzstan, Azerbaijan, Armenia and Kazakhstan. And Esperanto also used the word Medusa, 
Meduzo, but uh, like Latina, I don't know the country which uses Esperanto as uh, their official language. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. So you give it thumbs up. Anyway, write what I got to do next video. See you next week.